Hello Cancer, welcome to your water reading. This reading is not conjuncted to any time frame, but is just showing you a path to ascension. A path, not the path, there are many paths to ascend, so it's just a small entertaining card draw to show you a path. And I will draw a flying bird pattern with the body card as representing the here and now and the wings will be spread out with the Los Carabio cards and while I shuffle the cards and lay them out do take a read through the description I'm waiting for a card to reveal itself and let's continue with this drawing there we go we have consciousness and now to make the Los Carabeo decks representing your fear, your ability to respond to that fear, the intuition, the point of the intelligent action, the point of relaxation and exception where you have your peace of mind and then finally the arrival yes I have here, oh, are they? Yes, they are. I will take these two energy cards for the end of the reading. So let's just start out with the conscious cards. Yes, I have a slightly more special reading for you, Cancer, today. Let's go with consciousness, which is is it the major arcana? I guess it is. Doesn't even have a number on it. So let me just take the time to look it up. Must be the ace. Yes, the ace of clouds, consciousness, 138. So we have a new beginning for Cancer. Within the mind. Most of the cards in this suit of the mind are either cartoon-like or troubled. Because the influence of the mind is in our lives is generally either ridiculous or oppressive. But this card of consciousness shows a vast Buddha figure. He is so expansive he has gone even beyond the stars, and above his head is pure emptiness. He represents the consciousness that is available to all who become a master of the mind, and can use it as a servant it is meant to be. The mind is just a tool, people. When you choose this card, it means that there is a crystal clarity available right now, detached, rooted in the deep stillness that lies at the core of your being. There is no desire to understand from the perspective of the mind. The understanding you have now is existential, whole in harmony with the pulse of life itself. Accept this great gift and share it. Consciousness. We come from the unknown and we go to on moving into the unknown. We will come again. We have been there through thousands of times and we will be there thousands of times more. Our essential being is immortal, but our body, our embodiment, is mortal. Our frame in which we are, our houses, the body, the mind, they are made of material things. They will get tired, they will get old, they will die. But your consciousness, for which Bodhidharma uses the word no mind, Watam Buddha has also used the word no mind, is something beyond body and mind, something beyond everything. That no mind is eternal, it comes into expression and goes again into the unknown. This movement from the unknown to the known and from the known to the unknown continues for eternity, unless somebody becomes enlightened. That is when his, in his last life, this is when this flower will not come back again. This flower has become aware of itself, need to come back to life, because life is nothing but a school in which to learn. He has learned the lesson. He is now beyond delusions. He will move from the known into the first time, not into the unknown, but into the unknowable. Very deep. Like my voice. No, 
Let's continue. Your fear is represented by the two of swords, meaning you are fearful for rivals. You are fearful for rivals and your responsibility to respond to it. The ability to respond to being fearful of rivals is your uh, contemplation, your meditation, being secure about what you think and how you think. And you are within your intuition, the page of wands. So the page of wands is all about being a messenger. Your intuition is telling you to spread out the meshes of consciousness, of course. And of course, within the intelligent action, the opposite of rivals is making friendships, represented by the Knight of Cups. Definitely a straightforward reading here, so it will, sorry it will be short and snappy. And within the exceptions, acceptance and relaxation point, you have mortification, knowing you are the better man with the clear conscience and using the mind as a tool you are superior than others who are dwelling within the mind and uh, shooting through thoughts continuously without being alert and knowing what they're saying or even thinking so at the arrival you have of course the full house the home the happiness the full ten of cups fulfillment within your emotion and life and of course the two special drawings here which make it more clear is about being within full fortune of living the ten of pentacles full fortune and here is another knave coming up a uh, page of cups you are the bringer of love of course straightforward treating for you cancer i hope you like this one so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time this is a clear reading beautiful